We have to plant all these seeds. Luckily, with all of us helping, it shouldn't take too long. What do you want us to plant this year? I really like tomatoes, but I also like oranges and melons, and I also like watermelons and giant pumpkins and... Mumu, we don't have enough room to plant so many things. You have to choose just one. Tomatoes. Very good, tomatoes. What else, Alfred? I really like carrots a lot. And lettuce to Lolo. Well, what I really like are sausages. I like sausages too, but we can't plant them. Why can't we plant them? Everybody got to choose something to plant, and I didn't say anything. I want to plant sausages. Rita, sausages are neither fruits nor vegetables. We can't plant them. I know perfectly well that sausages can be planted, and I'm going to demonstrate. While Rita plants sausages, we're going to plant seeds. Mumu, you plant the tomato seeds. Alfred, you put in the carrot seeds. Talalo, you put in the lettuce seeds. And I'll plant the pumpkin seeds. You, Milo, you can plant the potatoes. Now, let's all get to work. Olga, how long does it take to grow tomatoes? Well, it takes about five or six months for them to grow and be ready to eat. I thought that tomatoes were grown in the supermarket, in their little containers, in their little rows, all neat and organized. Yes, Mumu, tomatoes are sold in the supermarket, but first somebody has to plant them like you're doing now. Then they need to be watered for many months, and they need to get a lot of sun. And only then will they grow into delicious, ready-to-eat tomatoes. And how long will Rita's sausages take to grow? When they see how these sausages grow, they're going to realize their big mistake. I'll put one sausage here and another here. This one looks so good. Then I'm going to eat it. Nom, 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 nom. That was really good. Now I'm a little hungry. I can eat another one since I still have a lot left. I'm going to keep on planting sausages. Another here and another here. Now I only need to wait about 10 minutes. Nom, 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 nom. Hello, Rita. Have you already planted your sausages? Yes, I've already planted all these. And do you really think they're going to grow? Well, of course, Momo. Soon we'll have the same sausages, but a whole lot bigger. That's how large sausages are made. Ah. May I eat one? They just look so good. All right, Mumu, but just one. While you're there, could you get one for me as well? It's amazing how much I like sausages. Well, I really like tomatoes, but they take so long to grow that I don't know if I'll be able to wait five months without tasting them. You have to wait five months? Yes. How long do you think it'll take for your super sausages to grow? Well, I don't know, but I was thinking five minutes. But if we have to wait so long, we might as well eat them now, right? Rita, you're hungry, aren't you? So catch this one and eat it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one is so good. Now I'll throw you one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Throw me another one. Now you to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't have any sausages left. Now what am I going to tell Olga when she sees I didn't plant anything? Rita, did you really believe that if you planted sausages in the ground, they'd grow? Now that you mention it, it's possible that there's a slim possibility that they wouldn't. But since Olga's always right, I had to contradict her. 
When Olga comes, just tell her that you made a mistake and that you didn't want to plant sausages. Tell her that you wanted to plant zucchini. Those will definitely grow if you plant them. Hi, Rita. Hi, Mumu. We've already planted everything in the vegetable garden. Tomorrow we need to go and water them. What's wrong, Rita? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not looking at you in any way. It's my way of looking. Rita? Is something wrong? I thought you were going to plant sausages. The truth is that I did plant them. But we were so hungry that Mumu and I ate them all. It's true, they were really good. But Olga, I already knew that sausages don't grow on the ground. Don't think that I'm not as clever as you are. Come on, Mumu, let's go. We need to plant a uh, zucchini. Milo, what are zucconis? In Rita's world, there's something like zucchini. When I grow up, I've decided I want to be a very famous cook and prepare the best dishes in the world. But Rita, the last time you cooked a simple fried egg, you almost burned the whole kitchen. Ah! <gasps> Ha-ha! <laughs> what does that have to do with knowing how to cook? The thing with the fried egg was an accident, nothing more. Anyway, I've also decided that to be the best cook in the world, I'll go to the best culinary school in the country. Whatever you say, Rita. While you become the best chef in the world, I'm going to become a soprano. A what? A soprano is... A person who sings opera. But, Mumu, you don't even know what opera is. Who says I don't? Now I'll show you how well I can sing. <clears throat> oh, sole mio. Oh, sole mio. <laughs> what was that horrendous noise? It sounded like a cry for help. Mumu, I must confess something to you. At first I thought you were awful, but after a while when I could no longer hear anything, it sounded really nice. You have a bright future in singing. Thank you, Rita. I know as a singer I'll become a superstar. Mumu. <laughs> Rita, did you hear that dreadful noise? I didn't hear anything. And you, Rita, did you hear something? Rita? Can't you hear me? Did you hear that noise? Mumu, what's wrong with Rita? I don't know. Rita, can you hear me? Hey there, Olga. How's it going? Why are you talking so low? I can't hear you. You'll have to speak a little louder. It looks like Rita has gone a little deaf. Could it be from that noise we heard? Well, I didn't hear a thing. I was singing opera with Rita, and I didn't hear a sound. What's that? Opera? Were you the one who was making that noise? What do you mean a noise? I was singing a song in E minor, very sharp. Mumu, please don't sing again in front of me. I'm begging you. I see you don't appreciate my talent. I'm going to rehearse far away from here. Olga, when I grow up, I'm going to be a fantastic cook. Very good, Rita. But you don't have to shout, I'm not deaf. Hi, friends. What you doing? Well, Mumu and I were deciding on our future careers. I'm going to be a chef, and Mumu's going to be an opera singer. And you, Milo? What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I've always wanted to be a doctor. I'll travel the world taking care of people who are sick. Well, you can start with Rita, oh? who has gone deaf thanks to <laughs> Mumu's vocal cords. <laughs> now I hear just fine, now that Mumu is singing somewhere else. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a detective. I like to investigate everything that goes on in the valley. Detective? Hmm, what a great idea. You can investigate why Mumu sings so badly, right? <laughs> I don't think there's any solving that crime. <laughs> I don't understand why they don't like my sweet voice. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. I'm going to 
to rehearse a lot, and this afternoon I'm gonna give them a concert that they'll never forget. Pew, 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 pew. Talala, you gotta slow down. I can't understand you. A concert? Mumu? Tonight? Oh, that tonight Mumu wants to sing a concert of opera. But that's awful. I couldn't take it, not even for a minute. It's no big deal. She's not that bad. And after a few seconds, we'll become deaf anyway. There's got to be a way for us to get out of this concert. Hi, friends. What are you all doing? Alfred, you've got to help us. Mumu has decided that she wants to become an opera singer. And tonight she wants to give a concert for all of us. But the poor thing does it so badly that we won't be able to take it. Well, this dilemma appears to have a simple solution. We'll cover Mumu's mouth so she can't sing. Alfred, how are we going to cover her mouth? Mumu's our friend, and if she wants to sing, we have to let her do it. What a great idea, Talalo! That's what we'll do! Hi, Mumu! What's up? I've got a surprise that I've prepared for all of you. Ooh! I'm going to perform a concert of opera right now! Ah, oh, how nice! A concert! All right, Mumu, I'm sure you'll do a great job! Yeah, a great job! But you'd better not run away or anything. Of course not, Mumu. We're your friends, and we'll stay until the end. Are you ready? Oh, sole mio. Oh, sole mio. Uh, uh, pass it to me. Now to uh. me. Now back uh. to me. What's this? Is anyone going to pass it to me or what? Pass it to me already. Uh. 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 Wow! Talalo, that shot was incredible! Now we have to go look for it. Come with me. You can see a lot better from the sky. How did you get to be so strong, Talalo? Look at how many apple trees there are. And they're all full of apples. It's incredible. You're right. Talalo, next time you need to kick it softer. Look at the ball. It's right under the apple tree. Let's go get it. That's what you get for kicking the ball so hard. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh. Where's that laughter coming from? <laughs> huh? I haven't laughed so much in a long time. <laughs> it was pretty funny, wasn't it? Mr. Apple Tree, why are you so far away from the other apple trees? Well, you see, I was born in this place. And it never bothered me to be a bit farther away from my brothers. This way I can grow bigger and be more comfortable. But this year it hasn't rained very much and I haven't gotten any water. My brothers have been able to grow many apples, but I haven't been able to grow a single one. As you know, what we apple trees like to do most is grow apples, so that everyone can taste how good they are. Uh-huh. Is there anything we can do to help you? 
Not unless you can make it rain and make the wind take all these dead leaves away. Anyway, I hope that one day you can taste my apples. We've got to go now, Mr. Apple Tree. But don't you worry. We'll try and help you real soon. My friends, we need to help Mr. Apple Tree. The poor guy has no water and hasn't been able to produce any apples. Um, what can we do to help? What a great idea, Talalo. We'll make Mr. Apple Tree as good as new. It's raining. I can't believe it. Water! Lots of water! This is totally awesome! It's you! Thank you so much for doing this! Mr. Tree, he's got flowers growing out of his head. That's strange, isn't it? Moo Moo, those flowers grow out of all the apple trees, and they will all turn into apples in just a few days. Good morning, Mr. Apple Tree. You sure have a lot of flowers now. All those flowers are so pretty. Thank you, my friends. When my apples are ripe, you can eat as many as you like. That's great. I want a basketful just for me. We'll check back soon to see how many apples there are. See you tomorrow. It's amazing how many apples there are. Hurry, hurry. Come here, everyone. You are not going to believe this. It's incredible. I see hundreds and hundreds of apples. It's awesome how many there are. Are all of you ready? Are we ready for what? Look how many I have. I have even more. Thank you, Mr. Apple Tree, for so much fruit. They are all for you, for having been so kind. See you later. That was a lot of fun. We should go to the forest and look for trees, and if we see that they're dry, we'll give them lots of water. Yes, it's wonderful. Look how many apples Mr. Apple Tree has given us. Everyone, look at me. I'm a tree with flowers on my head. And these apples are so good.